Hello there! In this video, we're going to use PyUScope to take snapshots of a regular array of samples, such as a tray of parts, or, in this case, sites on a silicon wafer. We're going to do this by using the scripting capability built into the software. Uh, first thing we need to do is go over to scripting and say select script. In this case, I've already written a script, so we're going to use that. And the way that this works at a high level is it has three kind of modes it operates in. The first two are to set up the lower left and upper right coordinates of our uh, region of interest uh, to define the area that we want to image. Uh, so let's start by selecting lower left. And we're at the lower left site that we want to image. So let's hit run. Uh, and we've inputted the lower left coordinates into the software here. Uh, now we need to get to the upper right corner to define the full rectangle that we want to image over. So I'm going to go over to the main tab and I'm going to say jog. And for this uh, test, let's say we want to do three wide and two tall. So jog up here. I'm going to turn down the jog speed a little bit so I can do a little more fine positioning. And that looks about centered very roughly uh, for this one here. So we'll call that. And let's go back over to scripting. And now we are on the upper right hand corner. So I'm going to say run. And now it's updated the upper right hand corner into our parameter list here. Um, the last thing that we need is we need to tell it how many sites on the x and the y direction we have. So it can uh, calculate the x step and y step, that is the, the pitch of the scan. So we have three dies wide and two dies tall. Uh, so I'm going to put those parameters in there. With all of that ready to go, I'm going to say run, let's kick it off, and it's going to start imaging. So it goes to the first site here, and you see that it's uh, saving some snapshots here. And we'll just let that run through, take a little bit longer. Ba -ba -dum -ba -dum. All right, it's at the end, and the final thing it's going to do is it's going to return to the lower left as sort of a home position. So that's how this works from the user experience side on the uh, microscope software. Let's take a small look under the hood on the script that was used uh, to make this work. So here I have the Python script that we just launched uh, up in this IDE here. Um, this is a so-called Argus scripting plugin. And the first thing that an Argus scripting plugin uh, does is it defines the GUI configuration that we want uh, for all these different configuration parameters. So you see we have the names of these, you know, the labels that show up on the screen there, uh, the types of the parameters. So some of these are a multiple choice selection, and some are simple, uh, you know, lines that we, we edit text on, uh, such as an integer or, or a string. Um, and we, we supply some default values here if we, if we want. So that sets up the GUI portion. And when we hit run, the script enters down here at run test. Uh, we're able to display some messages to the screen by using the log function. And we start by getting this mode parameter that was in that uh, drop down there and selecting uh, the setup modes here, uh, which work by basically grabbing the current uh, position, which is self.pause. Uh, formatting it as a string instead of the uh, dictionary of coordinates that it's natively processed in. And that allows us to then set that GUI element uh, right here for the next run. Um, so we do that for the lower left, the upper right hand corner, same thing, fetch the current position, convert it to text, and then set that text to the GUI. And once that's all done, we hit the run mode, uh, parse that uh, string version of that coordinate uh, back to an actual Python data structure as a dictionary of uh, coordinates, and that gets us to the real meat of this program, which is this mode run uh, function up here. At a high level, the way that this works is it calculates the x and the y step sizes based on the distance that we're traveling and the number of steps that we're uh, going to take. It iterates over the rows and the columns that we said we want to uh, image over and calculates each of the site positions by taking these uh, base x and y coordinates from the lower left uh, because in these sort of CNC systems, the, the lower left is the uh, origin of the machine and adds to each of the x and the y an offset, which is basically the pitch times the number of sites that we've, we've moved over. It then takes that computed uh, position and moves to it 
we optionally will uh, autofocus onto that uh, location and uh, snap a picture and, and save it to the file name here. Once we've iterated over all the sites, we finish by moving back to the lower left corner so that we have a nice uh, end and reliable uh, position that it that cleans up to. So uh, that's uh, yeah, that's a quick overview of, of how you can uh, write a plugin like this. So if you wanted to take this as a baseline or and you know maybe do something a little more advanced, uh, this is checked into the public software and, and available for you to modify. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and see you next time in the lab.